<laughs> Go away. No. You're worse. And like, no, I I'll wanna be you. in the frame. Ah. <laughs> so today I have Goriana here. She <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> I have Goriana here today. Uh, she just got back from the Netherlands. The Netherlands, yeah. and she's part of the squad. Actually, the engineer of the squad, and we're gonna talk about engineering and women in engineering. Oh no! <laughs> so first of all, I want I want you to introduce yourselves to the people because I know you, but they don't. What What is it that you do? So I am automation engineer. That means I'm programming factories. Mm -hmm. I'm building the whole process of the factories. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> hi. Um, in short, that is. Yeah. Where Where do you work? What do you do? I'm working for a Belgium company, mm -hmm. Gators Technology, and. Uh, we have offices over here behind us <laughs> and most of the time I'm traveling for my projects I will make the project here in Macedonia and then I need to commission it somewhere in the world wherever it is and now I'm doing SCADA what is that? I'm, I'm probably not going to understand anything but no, it let's will be try. simple, I will, I will explain <laughs> it like this you go into a factory and you have a monitor where you see the whole factory, like the producing line and mm -hmm. so on. And you click buttons or something on the <laughs> screen. That's the SCADA. Okay. <laughs> Why engineering? Why did you get into this? It's my cousin's fault. <laughs> when I was really little, seven, six, I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, he always was doing something with electromotors or some boats or whatever and I was helping him all the time and he got me into this and he's a economist <laughs> he knows nothing about this anymore and I went to a technical high school for mm -hmm. automation technology and then the university for automation also here in Skopje here in Skopje yes yeah. so you're, you're actually not graduated yet but you no. are working and making money um, what would you suggest to people that want to um, have a successful engineering career uh, while you're going to the faculty you should do the practical internships um, that brought me to this job mm -hmm. uh, but also finish uh, the university before getting the real job because I don't have time now to go just to give my thesis and to finish it like to have the degree mm -hmm. it's only that the thesis but two years already not going well <laughs> yeah so what kind of practical um, experience were you getting while the university uh, I was in one company uh, as an intern for two years <laughs> yeah that's how <laughs> if you're wondering that's how things work here in Macedonia <laughs> well I want it mm -hmm. uh, from my faculty it should be one month and that's it mm -hmm. but I wanted more and more and I was going every single month that I was available I was going there and I learned a lot from them after that I was four year yeah, fourth year mm -hmm. before graduating, uh, I started working and my school stopped there. <laughs> um, so I started working in another company, mm -hmm. a Macedonian company. I was working with another vendor, but now I work with Siemens that I really love. Mm -hmm. And you were always uh, participating in some events or workshops or anything you, you could find actually. Uh, everything you can <laughs> find, you, you should do it. Like, whatever it is. I was working as a waitress, I was working in a market, I was uh, doing these events, Startup Weekend, World Space Week, with the Red Cross, I don't even know now what else, uh, with the Astronomy Society from Beetle Offers and then with the uh, Skopje Astronomy Society. Uh, 
everything you can imagine. If there is some opportunity for you to do something, just do it. Uh, now the bar crawl, Skopje yeah. bar crawl. I've met a lot of people over there that can just be some connection with whatever you want to do next. Yes. Uh, you need those connections. Whatever you do. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> It was the stadium, something probably, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, so, whatever you want to do next, you never know where you will meet the correct person for that. Yeah. The right person to help you. I'll say help you. No one will help you if you don't help yourself. If you don't start doing something about the things you want. Uh, but only people can help you to just put you on the right path to meet the correct person so you will find the job or will, if you're working in a startup to build something or find a programmer, whatever. So I actually got her this week because she's traveling again in like a few days. <laughs> yeah, in one week, not even a week, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I have uh, friends that travel a lot. Uh, no, <laughs> no, we don't travel. No. Well, next week I'm going in Belgium, and after that, straight after Belgium to the Netherlands, and I'll be back only for a few weeks probably, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, and then the States. So that will be the finishing of the year. You are doing a job that's primarily taught as a man's job and there are not a lot of women into these circles no. how is that <laughs> so i'm the only girl in my department for engineering uh, and it's not easy it's, it's never easy for girls in the factory that i was at 400 i think guys and only me 400 guys. Only the girls that are working there are the cleaning girls. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Uh, so, the good part is you get free cookies, <laughs> <laughs> sweets, or I don't know, a meal or something. <laughs> Someone will come and just give you food. Uh, you know how love works. Yeah. Through your stomach. <laughs> so, that's the part about it. Uh, but, You have to be stronger than the guys. You have to know more than the guys so you can manage into the pet. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy to do that job. Not even for guys, mm -hmm. it's not easy to be a beginner because I'm still a beginner. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is that sometimes, I don't say like everywhere, girls are underestimated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. If you're a programmer or something, they will be excited, like from guys, they'll be, oh, you're a programmer. Okay, so what do you know now about this? <laughs> I'm, I'm just checking if you know programming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what you get. Or the first question actually is, why engineering when you can be a doctor, when you can do this, when you can do that, you know languages, you know, I don't know, people and tourism and whatever, because I love it. Yeah. That was my first love. <laughs> and then you go ask them, why are you into engineering? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, girls, just try. If you want it, just go for it. The point of everything is that girls can have equally, ex like, have an experience. Yes. Yeah, experience and the knowledge, the knowledge actually, to do the job. For example, yeah. um, we can do multitasking. <laughs> so yeah. that's the best part about being an engineer. You can do a multitasking, like work on something and just shift on something else and come back to the first thing. And that's the good part about us. Now we can do the um, speed round questions. Oh, very, very uh, quick questions. The first thing that comes to your mind, just <laughs> not <say>. after work. <laughs> There is nothing in my mind now. <laughs> so I know the answer of this question, but. Cats or dogs? Uh, both. Coffee or tea? Tea. Favorite color? Blue. Dragons or unicorns? Dragons. Favorite movie? Oh god. 
<laughs> a lot. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. Or three? Con come on. Contact. Favorite TV show? Game of Thrones, I will say, but it's not the most favorite. There, I don't know. A lot. A favorite thing to eat? Burger. <laughs> <Yeah>. Donuts. <laughs> really? <laughs> favorite social media platform? Uh, Instagram now. Last song you had on repeat? Last song? Yeah. You know I don't remember names. Uh, sing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, fight song. Fight song. Oh, okay. Yeah, fight okay. song. A place you want to visit? Egypt. First thing you, you do in the morning? Feeding my cat. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do a TED talk, what would that be about? Hmm. A woman in the men's world. What do you like most about Skopje? The Turkish bazaar. And that's the questions! That's it! That's yes. it! <laughs> so that was Guriana. Go check out today's vlog for from the 30 days daily vlog challenge and go check also the other interviews. I will link them up here. You can just click and click that subscribe button. It's just a second one. Why not? And thank you, Goriana, for make, taking the time to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a <laughs> red kiss. No, you don't. Okay. This is a special magic, magical lipstick. <laughs> Bye.